Semporna is a small fishing town with a long-standing connection with the sea. The surrounding waters have played a pivotal part in the lives of the local people for generations. Semporna town is located in Sabah, Malaysia, on the island of Borneo. Sabah is the easternmost state of Malaysia, bordering the South China, Sulu and Sulawesi seas. This places Semporna in one of the world's most diverse and productive marine systems, the Sulu and Sulawesi Marine Ecoregion, or SSME. The SSME lies at the apex of the Coral Triangle, an area with the highest diversity of corals, fish, crustaceans, mollusks and marine plant species in the world. While it is a known fact that Semporna is a world-class scuba diving destination, there is little scientific information on its marine biodiversity. Hence, on November 29, 2010, the first Semporna marine ecological expedition was initiated. The expedition members set out to make a rapid and accurate assessment of many different marine environments. Making up to five dives per day, the team laid out two 100-metre transect lines per dive to collect extensive data via a modified reef check methodology, reef profiling and videotaping the transect. A total of 12 kilometres of transects were laid during the expedition. Complementing the reef status team was the biodiversity team consisting of seven marine life specialists. The team was not disappointed, as Semporna's waters proved to contain an abundance of unique marine life. All in all, the expedition team spent more than 1,000 hours underwater throughout the 21-day expedition. Their findings revealed some amazing results. Semporna has the highest number of mushroom corals in the world, 43 individual species. 844 species of fish were encountered, more than 90 species of commensal shrimps collected, two of which are new to science. A new species of gall crab was found, as well seven formerly unknown hosts of gall crabs were observed. 25 species of Avulidae snails collected, including some very rare species. More than 100 species of algae collected. Finally, three endemic species of bubble corals were identified. The findings of the expedition team are certainly astonishing. However, they also uncovered some areas of serious concern. The health of the coral reefs in the SPCA is in a worrying state. Out of the 60 sites studied, only 5% or just three sites had excellent coral coverage with another 23% in good condition. 36% had fair cover, while the remainder were classified as in poor health. It was evident that human activity had taken its toll in the SPCA. In fact, during the expedition, the team heard over 15 underwater explosives going off and found more evidence of this destructive fishing method in the form of unexploded devices that were only a few days old. The study confirms Senporna's status as a hotspot for biodiversity, a location that is extremely rich in marine flora and fauna, but is in danger. The timeliness of the study helped to shed light on how precious the SPCA is. There is an urgent need for more effective management of Semporna's marine resources. The area has a tremendous potential for supporting sustainable fisheries and tourism. More resources need to be dedicated to managing and conserving Semporna's rich natural heritage.